All right, welcome back to the next episode of Out of Ore. And I'm checking, yeah. So, I'm continuing where I left off the last episode. I have 71 things of ore. I'm going to put the 71 up here. That gives me 75. I'm going to see... That's 5 pay dirt, 75 divided by 5 should be 25. Hey, 15. What? Okay. I, oh, yeah, 15, 15. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, this game makes you think sometimes. All right. We're also uh, building a watchtower. So let's see. We are eight or three of these away. Uh, three planks away. We need how many of these? We need 30 of these. So I'm going to put 30 in. Bring down the wood sheets. Go back to inventory. Grab the 80. Put it over here. Put the 80, the 80 back in the inventory, move that over, put that there. Now, for one of these, I need 50. Something's not right here. I'm at 55 of these. Three to one. I'm going to have to go cut some more trees. Oh no, I'll, I'll have 50. Okay. For a second, I thought I didn't have enough. I do. Um, it took five, or the fifth, it, it takes that whatever the number that you are going to do here that you need here, it automatically takes it out of this stack and puts it in here so that you can't basically do something without um, you, you don't overwork the production station basically is what I'm trying to think uh, to say so when I get 30 of those plank of these which will be in a minute and five seconds when I get all 30 of these I just transfer to here then put it back in and then I'll make this, I have to transfer it to my inventory and we'll go out and set it up somewhere. So while we're doing that, I'm going to go cut some trees down because I have a particular area in mind where I would like the watchtower to be built. So, plus I also need to start making or cutting trees for my mining area over there and start making my uh, bracing blocks and stuff. I know, I, I'm a very confused person. And like I said, I will continue doing this until the save kicks in. When we see the countdown for the save, I will uh, do my best to stop the, the recording. That way I'm not driving y'all crazy and not making the, this video too long. I am not going to be editing anything in this video. Everything you see is exactly how I, I did it from start to finish uh, for each episode. So I am not taking out any loans. I am doing everything by hand, uh, making as much money as I can just the old fashioned way. I started the company starts with a hundred thousand it, it is automatically on a hundred thousand um, you can go to the bank you can take loans and stuff like that I'm not doing that uh, you can buy your resources and stuff I'm trying to stay away from buying as many resources as I can I want to make all the resources from my own gravel pit and my own mine and everything. So 
I'm doing quests as I can as I go along um, and I'm doing everything possible to get this job done and get the experience get my company up to levels and that way I'd be able to have more stuff opened up to me more stuff available and start making a better profit if that makes sense so uh, like I said this game is still in early development this game is a it's on Steam as early release um, it's rough depending on where you live and what your sales taxes is it's listed at sixteen dollars and some change um, it will probably go for just under twenty bucks right now um, it's not on sale it's listed cheaply because of the fact that it is still being developed so um, games like this usually are um, cheaper when they first get started um, I bought Ark whenever it first came out I bought it for like 20 bucks now to buy the game and all the DLCs and stuff you're looking at probably about 60 70 bucks so I got it whenever it first started I like the early betas I like getting in touch with the uh, the the developers and letting them know hey I found a bug uh, or I found I would like to be able to see a certain quality in life hey I'm now capable of being a truck driver it says uh, I don't know how that happened I haven't bought a truck I'm not looking to buy a truck anytime soon so but I'm a truck driver. All right, I think I have an, enough logs. Let's cut a couple more. Um, I'll cut my way back down. And what I want to do, ooh, this is a interesting vein of something. Wonder what's in that vein. So. The, the colored ground like this lets you know that there's a vein of some kind of material underneath it and you can dig your way into it every time you see something like the discoloration of the ground the darker the ground is the bigger the vein is so and it lets you know where it's going and whatnot um, this is the uh, mine site map so it's basically the beginner map it lets you know hey uh, this is what you can do to um, get started and it helps you this is where the tutorial starts you so now I took all those 30 I'm also going to take all this wood and put it here I'm going to the production. I want one tower. I'm going to produce that tower. It's going to take one minute to make it. I have how much wood in the inventory? 148. So we're going 99 for the wood beams and then 49 for the next set of wood beams. And that basically will give me a uh, 145 plus I had five already so when this gets done in 25 seconds I'll transfer it over and we'll go set it up until then let's take a look at what we got in the ore how much is being produced 12 more is being produced so it still has five minutes and 27 seconds for all that for those that uh, missed it or this is the first time of y'all seeing this gameplay um, I would suggest going back and checking out the others but right here is where I'm getting pay dirt and the pay dirt is what is giving me 
um, the gold that I'm needing. So um, the reason I got those wood blocks or I'm making those wood beams and stuff is because I want to shore up this overhang. I've already had it uh, accidentally collapse in on me one time and that was not very fun. So I am going to dig all this pay dirt that I can see and get it out of the way, move it back as far as I can and collect all the gold out of the pay dirt as I work my way through um, this gameplay. I am by myself, I am doing everything by myself and the whole purpose of this is because I want to build my own company. Uh, for those that have not seen it, oh, the company name is Mudslide Digging. That's my company logo, which is also my Twitch account logo. Uh, so I'm going to continue resuming. I did not just now save it. So, oh, this is why I was saying I need to brace it is because now all that pay dirt just came down on top of me and instead of getting pay dirt I'm getting regular dirt digging this out so I, I wasn't paying attention I should have been doing this number cutting back the the rooftop a little bit as I move forward but I didn't and I dug a little too deep and the roof caved in on me. So, as you saw, I'm not hurt, but hopefully in the future, they'll make it in the gameplay. Uh, I think his name is Christian. Let me see. Uh, messages, settings, load. Oh, no. It's in the main menu, and I'm not going to go there. Um, there's only like four to five people that are developing this game and two of them are named Christian one is Christian with the CH and the other one is Christian with a K so um, I forget exactly who does what and everything um, I have looked at it I would like to get in touch with these guys and tell them how great of a job they've done um, because this this is a good game and it is pretty fun and I think I've been at this long enough to kill the time for that tower to have been done so let me open this up I'll go here we're gonna do 10 of these yep okay back out of that go here I have one tower we put place it in the heart hot bar and it says place the uh, tower wherever well earlier I was up here and the reason I went up here is because fire watch towers are generally built at the top of the mountains and stuff I don't know if I can get to the top of that mountain over there. And I probably can, but that's a long, long way. So, what I was thinking was I'd go up here and build the watchtower down here. But as I get closer, I see I can make it to a little bit further up. So. The higher you go, the more you see. So, and as you can see, I'm. There are no limitations to this game in aspects of um, running with the mover and, or with your person. So, and this is actually quite quite tall. So I I wouldn't. I wouldn't build right up here 
but I would put the watchtower in an area like this. And this is grid build, free build, and snap build. I would rather build it in snap so that it actually snaps to the ground. And now this objective is completed and I can go up the tower and look around. It allows me to see this entire valley. So this is what you would see in the real world where a watchtower would actually be built. So we'll run back down here, actually open this up. Um, Firewatch has been done. So I could do the start cutting again. I'm not going to because it wasn't worth it. Uh, keeping the lights on, sell 284,000 or 2,848,000 uh, pieces of coal to meet the high demand and get an ex extra bonus. So for every piece of coal that I find here, I sell it, I get one dollar for each piece of coal, basically. But I'll get 2,702 experience on top of whatever it is I'm doing to build or dig and stuff so we I can jump I can jump crisscross make you wanna jump jump okay I, you can't double jump but you can jump so I should have been cutting down these trees as I came down let me do that that way I don't have to worry about it later and don't have to worry about the trees falling on me whenever I come down. So I'm just going to clear this area out for a few minutes and collect all these trees. Then we'll head down. We'll start shoring up the pay dirt site and I'll show you what the the mine is going to look like I'm still in the process of building it I'm still thinking in my head what I need how to get through everything and which way how deep I want to go do I want to start digging down do I want to start uh, leveling stuff out uh, do I want to get into the gold or not the gold but the coal mine over there if I do how far over do I want to dig into that um, I want to try and get that entire coal mine vein the coal vein uh, dug out so yes I'm getting plenty of ore for gold and I've got to turn the gold ore in the gold uh, bars and I'm going to show you something that I've figured out so if you have the resources the ore I'm not selling I don't want to sell I want material okay oh that's why it's not showing so this is what they're going to charge me for anything and everything that I need I, I had to pay $35 for a barrel of oil. I had to pay $12 for a barrel of water. When I sell it back to them, it, it, this is actually a dollar. Pay dirt, I'll get a dollar, maybe two dollars for. They want me to pay three dollars, they're going to give me two dollars. Uh, the ore, $45, I think I get like forty dollars. So when I get into the gravel, the crushed rock, the blasted rock, all that stuff, you, you can see the difference. And the wood, $22 per tree. I was getting paid, let's see, I'll sell one, $15. So I'm making money, but I'm not making as much as I wanted to. Uh, wood, rock, okay, resources, materials. 
Now, the gold bar is $210 is what they're charging me. But whenever I get it done, I will be able to sell it back for at least 200 bucks, I believe. Should be at least 200 bucks. No, Hercules, you're not going to get up here. Okay, I love you, buddy, but you're not coming up. Now, you've seen the darkness of the ground and everything up here. Um, in that area over there. I can start digging right here and dig my way back through there and collect all the material that's up here. However, I would be doing it by hand because I don't have any heavy equipment. When I do get the heavy equipment, I have to build a road up, to, up here to be able to make it a smooth passage for me to get everything situated. So, right here is a vein of some kind of material. What's under there, I don't know yet because one, I don't have, uh, I'm not digging down to tell you what the main vein is. Um, you can do that. It will let you uh, go out and basically prospect, you're prospecting for what each of those veins are. So, like this one right here, um, just to show you what I'm talking about, I'll go right here. Let me cut down these, this tree real quick so that the trees are not in the way. Where is it? There it is. Okay. Okay, so the tree's not in the way. I'm going to go ahead and dig. You, I'm going to get nothing but dirt right at this moment. And I'm still getting dirt. Still getting dirt. Dirt. I'm not digging a straight straight down because if I did that, then I'd wind up in a hole and can't get myself out. So I'm digging down. I see gravel and crushed rock in here which I will need but I haven't hit the pay source yet which will be under this next layer it'll be a darker uh, color I believe let's see yeah am I digging coal? yep this is a coal vein right now that's what I'm getting out of here is coal. So, oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. Um, let's cut all the trees down. If you're a tree hugger, this game is not for you. <laughs> if you believe Mother Earth is uh, meant to be protected, this game is not for you. But I I laugh whenever I, I I I say stuff like that because there are people out there who are protesting the way of life, and yet this is what happens for you to be able to get stuff out out there. Now, if you notice right here, I'm hitting pay dirt all of. Uh, I think I'm going to start hitting pay dirt. I could be wrong. Because pay dirt is at a certain level. I may just be digging and getting nothing. Yeah, I'm just digging a hole. I'm not getting anything but dirt. So... I could dig this way to get into that coal vein over there, but it literally, the only reason I did that was to see what I could get at a certain level. I thought maybe I could start digging in and getting 
uh, certain other things. Now this is a different area. I'm going to dig down and start seeing what's in this vein. Okay, I'm in the coal again, it looks like. So I'm pretty much digging a coal vein. But you see that difference. Okay. Now, here's a different. This may be coal too. Yep, this is all coal. So, I can go back over here and dig that coal vein and do the keeping the lights on. If I want, uh, was needing to but uh, I need to go right here real quick open this up everything is done in here let's take all this gold out close the wash plant open this workbench Whoa. production I have 52 I'm gonna say 99 just because I'm one of those guys that forget what I'm doing. And now I have this. Uh, I'm going to put this over here, close this out. Now, they want 210 for one for me to buy one gold bar because I have a gold. This is what I would get paid for one gold bar, $147 which yes it's a lot of money but it's not the 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 economy is off a little bit in this game so um let me close this back out open this guy back up and i'm going to put all that gold back in there can i smelt what can i do in here you got iron from iron ore, copper ore, aluminum ore, silver ore, you need one iron and coal to make steel. Lithium, silicone, platinum. So this one has to be made to make this. You need one iron and one coal. So I have 21 coal, I don't have any iron. Let's go right here. Production, it says for diamonds, ruby ore, I need gravel. Five gravel for one, um, uh, one bag of cement. That one bag of cement, you come here, go to productions, you can do equipment, concrete, it requires three waters and nine cement for one concrete block. A concrete ramp, concrete. So concrete takes a lot of stuff. And then I have 99 in there. Um, go back over here real quick. Let's put this in here go to productions uh, 104 it's going to do 99 so I need five I'll start making more stuff I need to go down here I have my uh, old Derek and I can get fuel out of it. Um, you can get water or oil. I have a hundred water in there right now. Production. One empty barrel equals uh, one water. So Let 
99. It's going to do 90. I'm not doing any of the oil just yet because I don't have any um, vehicles. So, and I'm not going into the company bank there. Now, somebody was telling me, I'm not sure if it's true or not, but instead of going and selling, let's see. It's $8 for a So selling it here ain't going to be any different um, than selling it somewhere else. However, um, if I open this up and I go here, I think it's productions or quest. I need to build this. I have to buy this to um, start selling the the ores and stuff by dropping them into that sell point to get better money and get experience out of it. So, let's see, to make this, I need two of those. I need one and three. Okay, so what I'm going to do is start shoring up down here, but I don't know if I'm ready for that yet or not. Um, let's go ahead and start digging out some of this coal also. Because I... Oops. Resume. Go to the quest and we'll do the keep the lights on. Confirm. I can start digging all this by hand. And every time I swing, you can see how much I'm going to get out of each swing. Well, it's going to take me forever to get 2,000 something if I keep doing it this way. And what, you, what I'm doing is I'm trying to make sure that I don't get into the dirt because I don't want any of the pay dirt or any of that dirt in with my coal. And I'm going to dig out all the coal as I can by hand. And at the same time, I'm building up my um, experience points up there. I'm level 7. Uh, I'm mining, I'm at 46, and it, yeah, it's going to take me a while to get all this, but we're, when it's all said and done, I'm working my way through, if that makes sense. I'm not out here doing something and just doing it to get on top of the leaderboard and um, cheating the system to be uh, this mass producer of whatever and whatnot. So I am literally doing what I can to individually dig out coal and iron and stuff like that. So. I will dig it all and work my way. I'm a level two truck driver. I have no clue what that means for me, so. I don't even drive a truck yet. I'm still out here just swinging a pickaxe and trying my best to get all of this stuff done and making it as I go. So, this is something I would do in a role-playing scenario where 
a couple of guys would come in and we would be working in the mine. One of us would be the boss and we'd be working for a company and trying to get a day's worth of work done. So um, that's how I, I see this game. And it, I could see it like farming simulator. Um, going that route where you invite your buddies over and you're trying to have the best quarry uh, out of the, the county or the best quarry on the map because these maps are very big um, to show you this is the map zoomed out and this is a huge, huge area. I, I'm not even. I, I I'm. I zoomed out, and I have now lost where my quarry is. So I don't even know where I am on this map. <laughs> I zoomed out, I started spanning the map, and now I've lost my location. So, I'll hit my home. Oh, okay, there's my home button. So, yeah, I, I am currently right here in this little itty-bitty area. And this is just my little area. Working my butt. So, yeah. If you had some friends who are competitive and also willing to put in the time, y'all could see have a, a, a mining competition and see who could, the best miner could be. So that that's the my thinking of this. And yeah, it, when you start buying equipment. It, it's going to be more beneficial and whatnot, but you're buying the equipment to help you be better. And instead of instant gratification, you're slowly doing it and you're working your way through. And I'd like to send a shout out to YouTuber uh, Split in Two. You can find him on YouTube, and I think he also does it on Twitch. Um, he's in constant contact with uh, the developers of this game. He is a tester for this game. So when he's doing his work on, or videos on these games, he's actually playing the game and telling the tester what's going on. Um, how he's liking the game, where he's found something that needs improvement or something of that sort. Um, I've not gotten in touch with them. Uh, I don't know how... There is a Steam community. Um, there's probably a Twitch channel for this game. And I am very impressed with this game right now. I, I, it's still in development. It's still uh, being worked on on a daily, or from what I understand, they're working on it daily, trying to come out with patches to make it better, make it uh, fun, and whatnot. Um, before I get too deep in that hole, I'm going to start working my way back down from the top. And as you see, I'm at 166 with just the pickaxe. And I've been working for a few minutes. Now, my progress is to get 2,848 pieces of coal and sell them. So I get the experience points and get the, the uh, money out of it and 
I don't know what you get for completing all the quests, but I've already done two quests. Uh, one was cutting wood, and one was uh, building a fire tower. So, a fire watch tower, not a, a fire tower, but a, a, a wood, like a forestry uh, tower. So, and I'm digging out this vein here. I want to dig up some so that the vein doesn't come crashing in on me. Because I've had that happen over in the pay dirt side over there. You dig too far and next thing you know all the rubble comes right down on top of you. So how far this vein goes may be way deeper into the mountain here because that's, that's a lot of dark dirt there. And I, I don't know. It may go all the way back into that mountain there. So I got to get rid of all this stuff up top. I'm at 208. What's up, Hercules? Every time I swing doesn't mean I'm getting uh, a pay a pay pro or hitting the the quota. See, I'm at 210, still 210, but now I'm getting into the pay dirt. And this is where you dig until, so I'm thinking that my pay dirt is just under this layer here. You want to dig until you see that brown. When you see that brown, that means you're at the top of the layer and it's not going to go any further in that or any higher up. So I'm digging in a straight line back into the hill until I see the pay dirt or until I see the the boundary dirt is basically what I'm going to call it. It's regular dirt, but it's basically setting a boundary. And yeah, I'm going to have to clear out the topsoil and stuff, but eventually I want to get me a bulldozer and um start making my way in this world of mining with the uh, the bigger equipment and whatnot. So, but you have to start small and you have to start somewhere. So, I'm starting here digging out. I was digging out the pay dirt, but then I seen the the thing for the coal and now I'm working on the coal. I should go back into the pay dirt and build up my gold supply a lot more so that I can start getting the big equipment and start making um, bigger dents in the ground other than a pickaxe giving me one piece of uh, equipment or one piece of uh coal or ore or whatever that comes in the ground because with the dirt if you got the bucket and you do certain things you can uh, divide the dirt off and send it somewhere to be sold you can divide the ores you can divide uh, the coal out of it you can do all kinds of stuff and separate it and make one mine uh very very profitable 
by separating everything. And I'm not separating right now. I'm digging after one item. And that one item is going to take me a minute because I, I'm not taking loans out and stuff. I am doing it all the old-fashioned way. I am busting my butt, well, busting my avatar's butt, and making him do all the hard labor and digging out everything to get what I need out of this mountain. And with it being a pickaxe, you're only getting one, where with a, uh, a hopper, um... And a front end loader, you could probably be getting the 2,000 pieces in one bucket load. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm doing it slow and easy, but I'm not taking out any loans. And I'm doing it this way to just have the satisfaction of doing it the right way if that makes sense. Um, I, I, yeah, that that's what I'm going to say, is doing it the old, slow, satisfactional way. I, I, I think that is the words I'm looking for. Now, I, see, I got in there, and I started getting up underneath this, I need to start cutting this back because I don't want it falling in on me. I, I, I started digging myself a big old hole and I noticed that I had too much of an overhang, so now I'm going to get rid of that overhang and hopefully be getting nope, no coal with it as I dig that back. So, I've gone back deep, though. You can see I've reached back in here and got to a brown area, which means... I'm probably at the edge of this deposit here. And with that being said, I'm going to dig down because I'm clearing this area out of all the coal that was in here. So... I don't want anything over my head. Oh, there's the wife. Let's see what she has to say. Yes, dear. I didn't get to see that yet. Okay, well, watch it. I'm going to do it. You going to do it? I'm going to do it. Okay, let me see. Uh, message, what is, Mopar Dodge. Yeah, that's Grand Theft Auto, babe. I didn't do it in real life. Oh, you're going to do it in real life with our Bronco? No, not with the Bronco. Okay. You you gonna go buy us a Dodge Hellcat uh, uh, Durango? You gonna go buy a Dodge Hellcat Durango just to do the donuts around the cops? Yes. <laughs> uh huh. I didn't do it. Good. I I I bet you would. I wouldn't put it past you. <laughs> You're like, I'd do it. i do it just because I, just cause I can. You Make sure you take the license plates off of the car. Of course. <laughs> like, Hide it in the 
garage for a few weeks. <laughs> Take longer than a few weeks. Oh, 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 yeah. That that would really make it stand out. Well, I mean, they're gonna be looking for all black ones, so. Yeah, and then whenever you do it again, <laughs> they're gonna see the pink pen pinstriping and evil pixie and all that good stuff. Yeah, the, they're gonna be able to put two and two together eventually. You'd never be able to take that vehicle out of the garage. You just changed the appearance a little bit. <laughs> You'd be alright. Uh-huh. <laughs> I was a cop. I remember how it went. And changing the appearance just a little bit didn't always get it uh, out of trouble. Not always, but... Huh? Not always, but... Yeah. So, I'm excited. I just read... I was reading uh huh. And it says that Seven Days to Die will launch into 1.0 this June on scene. Okay. And on Xbox, it'll be in July. But on Xbox, I have to rebuy it. I've owned the game since it came out, literally since it came out like 12 years ago. Yeah. Why but do we have to I rebuy have to it? Rebuy it on X, not, I don't have to rebuy it on Steam. I just have to rebuy it on Xbox. Why do we have to rebuy it on Xbox? I'm guessing it's something to do with all that licensing bullshit that they had to go through a while back. That's why Xbox hasn't been getting any of the updates that Steam has been. Okay. Like, it's still like a way old version of it on Xbox. So we'll have to just completely rebuy it. The video that I watched a while back said that they were going to try to work with Sony and Microsoft to, if you already own it, to get a lower price on it. But the price is going to increase to $45. Right now it's 25 It's going to increase to 45 on Steam when they release. Like, if you don't already own it mm -hmm. on Steam. Yeah. But if you already own it, then you already own it. Well, we already own it on Steam, and I don't... I own it on Xbox. I own it on Xbox, too, but I'm not going to rebuy it on Xbox. Like I said, I bought this game whenever it very first came out. I've been playing it for 12 years. Yeah. So... I've had it for a while, and I've I've played it since day one, even when I didn't understand what I was doing or how to do anything, because <laughs> it was a game. You're like, I'm like, what do they want me to do here? How do you do this? And they didn't. I did not knowing why, and I'm like, what in the hell am I supposed to be doing? It didn't have the the little mini game of uh, craft this to craft that to gather this right. and craft that. It was basically you wake you up and you're like, in and you look at you look around and you're like, what? I'll never forget the very first time I spawned into that game. It spawned me like right next to a burn spot, so the zombies were fire zombies. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, what in the hell is this? And I'm like trying to run away from an Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> How do I get away? What did I do to you? <laughs> right. Come on now. What did I do to you? Go away. Let it's me go. Wow, did you know Conan's been out for six years? Uh, yes. I found that out whenever I looked at Steam this uh, earlier. Wow. I've had that game since it came out. It came out before we got married. Well, before we actually got married, but it came out like right as we first got together. No? No, it was out before then because... um no, sir. We've been together since 2018. 
The way to keep track of your marriage. Which video game? Which video game came out the year that you got married? <laughs> You, you, by the way, you're being recorded, so. Oh, I'll let you go. <laughs> it's making content. I, I'm just mining coal I right know, now. I am on your game talking about other games. So I, you don't appreciate that. Oh, this game. I was just going through my little new speed thing here. It's giving content for this uh, mining game that I'm enjoying. Well, see, now that I know that I'm being recorded, I ain't going to be talking so slick. Why not? Because you know that whenever it's just me and you, I am two handfuls, and whenever it's everybody else, I, I'm muted. Yeah, we, we still have to uh, figure out some more of the Planet Crafter Gameplay. Hey, figure out what's going on with my computer. Green Hill has an anteater. An anteater? <laughs> That's a Grand Theft Auto video. <laughs> no, I do it in real life. <laughs> uh, yeah, I could see you trying to do it in real life, but the sheriff's deputy was probably have you run down in no time. No. Radios are faster than cars. <laughs> I know these roads are pretty good, though. Yeah, that I would hope so. We do live in the backwoods. So. They skip beta testing it. They've been in an alpha forever and a day. It's alpha twenty. It's alpha twenty one, right? It'll never be a beta it, if if it's skipping. It's just getting launched in June. So I see the sun is up. <laughs> oh, yes. And I'm so cute. You're so, so cute. I'm so, so cute. How long until you take a break? Uh, Probably about three minutes. Because okay, so I, I'm doing it by the save time. I've got it set up to do a save uh, every hour, and that causes me to take a break and stop recording. So, That's so cute. Yes, dear. I know what you You want your ice cream and cherries. Yes. Okay. So. Okay. And Hercules is in here crying. Uh, he was in here crying a minute ago. He's in here, sitting on the bed, crying, whimpering. All right, I'll let you get to a good spot. Yes, dear. I love you. I love you. Mwah! <laughs> and now you see why we play games together, and why we have so much fun. Even though this isn't a multiplayer game, we do do stuff together and have fun with it and 
we talk about other games and stuff like that, games that we both enjoy playing, and so, like I said, it, 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 there's a lot to do, and this game is, it, it's, okay, autosave in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, we'll go ahead and stop it, game was successful, uh oh, where, where's my mouse? Confirm. Okay. We'll confirm it. Uh oh. It's not letting me. Oh, there we go. I will stop the recording now.